When you need to move or extricate a patient on the autopulse, do so according to the following guidelines. Apply both the autopulse shoulder restraint and head immobilizer prior to any movement and or extrication. Do not strap across or otherwise constrain movement of the life band. Ensure that chest rise and recoil are not impeded. Try not to carry the patient at an angle greater than 45 degrees. To apply the shoulder restraint, clip in the black straps to the loops near the patient's head. Clip in the yellow straps to the pin next to the yellow line on the platform. Adjust into position as needed and then partially tighten by pulling the yellow ends first. Then partially tighten the black straps near the patient's head. It is critically important to ensure that the shoulder restraint in no way impedes chest wall recoil. If the shoulder restraint is too tight, it could negatively impact proper autopulse operation and potentially reduce blood flow. It is not necessary to stop the autopulse to deploy the shoulder restraint. To apply the head immobilizer, first place it under the patient's head as shown on the diagrams. Fold each side of the support panel with the outer flap folded under. Press down to secure with Velcro, then tape across the patient's forehead above the eyebrows and secure to the autopulse platform. Standard head blocks and tape may also be used. The recommended method of extrication is use of the soft stretcher. The cradling effect that the stretcher has when it is lifted helps maintain alignment. Place the soft stretcher on the ground next to the patient. Ensure that the shoulder restraint and head immobilizer are in place. Move the autopulse and patient onto the soft stretcher. Rescuers can shorten the overall length of the patient during extrication by allowing the lower legs to bend down at the knees. This can help to negotiate tight corners. When using a standard backboard, the patient needs to be properly secured to the autopulse, preferably with the shoulder restraint and head immobilizer. Once the patient has been secured to the autopulse, secure the autopulse to the backboard with zip ties.